Thank you, thank you so much for joining us again uh, on uh, on our show. Uh, Let's talk episode six with uh, Mr. Maurice Rashidi. Rashidi, yes. Yes, we've um, spoken a lot about your salvation, uh, where your background, uh, and uh, you've been involved in a lot of stuff yep. here and there from Congo, Tanzania, Nairobi, mm. um, back to Kenya, Kenya. and then here. Um, and um, the last point you you mentioned you being uh, now currently involved in uh, Shalom Adroshe Ministry, mm-hmm. which is uh, uh, pastored by Meshak, mm-hmm. uh, who happens to be your young brother. Young person. Um, how is it? How is it? What's the experience? How is it like to work under your young brother yep. in ministry? Yeah, uh, <clears throat> um, yeah, uh, you know, um, since my salvation, mm. even um, the day that I went to first time in that prayer on my, the day of my salvation, mm. he was there. Mm. Yes, we were two of us. So, um, in all this journey that I have spoken earlier, um, either in Congo, in Tanzania, in Tanzania we were not much together. In Tanzania I was uh, more excited. But in Congo we were together. In uh, Nairobi we were together. I'm saying together. We also sleep, we stay in the same room, house. We sleep same house. So we went also to Congo. We went back to Lubumbashi to study. Mm-hmm. And uh, when we were living in that, uh, the person I said, Mr. Kaba, we were also living the same house. Even when we were at... When you say house, you mean room? Room. When we were at uni, mm-hmm. university. We were also sleeping in the same room. So I had a chance, I'm lucky enough, to see and to understand what God has put in him. And that, uh, and uh, I know in a, it can be a little bit difficult, according to some tradition, how am I convinced as being an elder? But uh, what I'll tell that in the ministry, it's not about age. Ministry is not about age. You don't uh, you don't earn um, ministry by your age. You earn a ministry by the grace that God has put into you, and it can bring even uh, your child to be your pastor. So I'm lucky enough because I have a chance to see and experience who he is <laughs> and how God works with him. Mm. And uh, I'm not the only person to see that. Mm. That has been testified by a lot of servants of God. Mm. A lot of, um, as a Christian a member, back in Kenya and here, um, in, uh, in uh, whether it's in Congo or in Tanzania, but not much in Tanzania, but Congo and in Nairobi. So um, there is something that God has put in Him that um, if you 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 can see it, you will need to stick close and get inspired and learn. You know, um, uh, Christianity is a journey that we are not uh, to be alone. We have to be with people. We have to have mantles. We have to have people who can help us to be in a track. 
I'm not saying that the Holy Spirit cannot help us, but we need to have, apart the Holy Spirit, we need to have someone who can direct the same way for my salvation, that woman has to be there. It was the work of the Holy Spirit, yes. It was a plan of God, yes. But somebody need to be there for that to be fulfilled. And uh, it come to happen that my ministry uh, inspirations has to come from him. And uh, no one can judge the work of the Holy Spirit or the work of God. God can do things with whoever he wants. Mm. Wow. And um, I'm very lucky enough. I don't need somebody to tell me about Pastor Sisson. I know he's a human. We are all human. But uh, what I know about how God uses him, is what I know. And everybody need to look to know what you can know. But yeah, so I'm very humble. I always call him in, in terms of ministry is my elder brother. And when it comes to family, yes, I'm the elder brother. Uh, that's that's very uh, inspirational uh, to know. Uh, you know, um, in the world is the other way around. Yeah. You know, and um, thank you so much for sharing that that story. Uh, sometimes it's true that uh, when you spend time with uh, someone, you get to know the the inner person. You know, the inner person is is revealed uh, for you to understand yeah. and to know better. Yeah. Um, so thank you for thank you for that. Uh, today we're not going to talk about Pastor Sister no, no. Uh Today it's you. Um, so um, what else have you been involved in? For example, in the ministry in Shalom uh, uh, Adoration Ministry. Uh, so uh, you yeah, have been involved in a lot of things from the beginning of the church and um, mm. uh, very different things. Uh, a lot and uh, but as to now uh, I'm involving much into um, administration and uh, um, uh, and make sure everything's run smoothly quickly and good and also um, I'm, I'm involved in a new early ministry uh, uh, that has been created, which is uh, CLG, um, in, uh, which is uh, Christian Leader uh, Ministry, uh, while a leader group, CLG, Christian Leader Group, that I'm involved in. Okay. And uh, um, I'm, I'm happy that I, um, I've, uh, I've gotten a spot where I can also contribute in this um, ministry to go forward. Okay. Sure. So Christian leader ministry, Christian leader group. Group. Okay. Let's talk about that. Um, yeah. What is that about? Um, what is your role and what is it about? And uh, Yeah. So um, normally, um, uh, this group is about uh, trying to work with the leadership so okay. so um the the idea is that uh, um the member the the health the measurement of how the member are health in 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 the ministry depends to the leader i don't know if i'm making it so let me make it elaborate, simple elaborate elaborate so when there is the if the church is healthy mm. is always the response of a uh, good or healthy leadership so leadership does uh, uh does affect the way that uh, the ministry is running right. okay. 
And um, <clears throat> as I said uh, 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 in the beginning, I said that uh, there is a period of mature, Christian mature. That is, that is when you need to be told the really gospel. That when you need to be fed so that you can stand on yourself and continue. But if in that particular period of time, for example, you have a, a leadership which is not helping you to feed you properly, that will be reflected in your Christianity. That will be reflected. So, the core idea is, if we can have a good leadership, then we can create more uh, uh, good run services and churches, or if we can be well organized as a leader, then we can impact good result to, to the members. And if we can do that, then we can build, we can contribute more in building the kingdom of God. So in other way is CLG is working with the leaders. And uh, these are definitions. I don't like to go more. These are definitions that is prescribed about leader. So whoever has an independent ministry, like now you have this. This is an independent ministry that you are leading. In this concept, you are leader. It's not being pastor or then pastor. No, that is not the context of the CLG. So um, the idea is, how, as a leader, can we help each other oh, okay. to make sure we respond well to the member of the church, to the Christian, in terms of being fed spiritually, mm -hmm. in terms of uh, being, uh, 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 in terms of learning or promoting uh, gift in the church, mm -hmm. and. Uh, by doing so, we are also building the kingdom of God. Because we believe good leadership always have a good repercussion to the members and to the service. And therefore, good in, and a good uh, result into building a kingdom of God. Okay. So, in my understanding is that uh, is to, uh, the group is about Leaders coming together and help each other, each other to lead wherever areas they are. Yep. So exactly. So it's not exactly. about shalom adoration ministry. No, no, no. It's okay. something apart. Is is different leaders coming together? Sure. And help each other. We share experience. Share experience. We discuss issues. Okay. So is this is this group incorporated or? Oh, what's the what's the structure? What's what what's? But the group is this a ministry in Shalom or is this um, you know a ministry as outside of Shalom or and how can people be part of this group? Yeah. So um, this ministry um, is created within Shalom Adoration Ministry but it has its own independence. Okay. So it has in, in its own independence. It works on itself. Yes, it's not yet registered, okay. but uh, it's, at the moment it's under Shalom, okay. Adoration Ministry, but it is independent, as I said, and it has a very specific focus. Okay. Very specific focus is the focus of uh, empowerment. That's why if you see on the logo, there is um, uh, 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 empowering for excellence. So that is the motto. So we believe that uh, um, if we can empower ourselves as a leaders, then we can help the people who are weak, the leader who are weak. We can share knowledge. 
we can uh, 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 inspire each other. Mm -hmm. And by doing that, if we can accept that and go apply that in our churches, then it can bring changes. They can help uh, the kingdom to go and grow big. Wow, that's good. Now imagine, for example, there's a leader behind, behind the screen yeah. or, if, or watching us right now. Sure. And they want to be part of this group. Uh, yeah. What are the requirements or what? What's the procedure? Uh, so um, normally, uh, if you want to to be a part of the group, uh, there is no much. Uh, there is just one of the requirements is to we we have to share the same faith, which is based on uh, Jesus our Lord and uh, and work of the Spirit, and uh, know that there's one God who created everything, which is the basic. And um, then um, you need to be leading. You need to have uh, some leadership. You have some position. leadership position, not in your church. For example, if you a leader in the church, suppose you are elder in the church, mm. you are leader in that church, but you cannot be a member because the only person who can be a member is your pastor. Okay, am I making sense? Yeah. Because that is not independent le leadership that you yeah. have. So you, you are under somebody. Okay. You are, you are okay. It's not yeah. independent. Yeah. That's not making sense. Yeah. And that's very important because some people can just uh, rock in and say, why did you mm. refuse my leadership? Mm. It's better to understand that. Yeah. It's not because if, uh, if um, an elder can come and become a member and then his pastor coming and become a member, it doesn't work that way. Why? Because uh, the, like, if you are elder, you are under a leadership. You are is not. No. You are, are an independent mm -hmm. leadership. Mm -hmm. But in that case, for example, in the, what you are doing here, mm -hmm. you are independent. It doesn't depend with the church that where you're going mm -hmm. to pray. Yeah. It might make sense. Yeah. And it's not about. It's not. The meaning of leader is not just be a pastor. Mm. No. Mm. Because if, if you refer yourself into um, uh, the Great Commissions, mm. when the message is sending people to go, they didn't say pastors, mm. go. Mm. It's everybody. Mm. So we, all, all of us, is not to be a leader is not just to be, is not to, to be have a pastor. pastor. To be a pastor is a nomination. Mm. It's, it's different. Leadership is something different than just a nomination. Mm. Wow. Thank, yeah. you so, thank you so much. It's no more, more than a title. Mm. Yeah. So it's about what do you really have something that you lead. Okay. Which and, is and it doesn't have to be uh, pastor or prophet no or no no you can just be leading uh, uh, for example a, a different program that you do you may for example you may have uh, uh, you may have a uh, present worship ministry for example like which is not is yeah, like a band mm. you will qualify okay. if you have the sum fifth mm. and uh, you follow the requirement in that definition, mm -hmm. you are leader. All right. Is there a formal registration or yeah. people can just come? Yeah, normally, um, if you want to be a member, there is a form. Okay. There is a, unfortunately, I don't have here mm -hmm. on the platform, but there's a form that needs to be filled where there's this uh, something to tick to know, some information that we may need to know. And there uh, are some other information that you need also to know. And once you fill that form, uh, the leadership, because uh, according to the structure, there is a chairman, there are our senior minister, there is a secretary, uh, there is uh, um, two elders, according to the structures. So uh, those people, they will sit and see. If you, the first things is, to rule out if you are not under any other leadership mm. because that will create conflict mm. of interest. Mm. And the same faith, 
no matter how you work for the ministry, you may be a singer, you may be whatever, as long as you have a, a group that you're leading. Yeah. So you have to fill the form and the more information will be given there, but uh, there is a, a classic form oh. to fill. All right. And yeah. So uh, if you're a leader out there, independent leader or a pastor running a church, Mm -hmm. and you would like to know more about the group CLG um, yeah hit me up uh, and I'll, I'll get you connected and sure. then you you can you can have a discussion and talk yeah. about it and and you know you you don't have to join you can just call up and just to get more information information to get more information to know how it's run and everything um, you know, it can be a question about leading a certain area or certain thing or certain people, certain program or certain whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah. See them, and yeah. um, uh, they've got experience in in, in that area. Uh, I've um, I can say that because I've I've been I've been involved in that in that in that as well. So um, that would be that would be nice. All right. And and the, and the other things before, if I'm not interrupting you, the other thing that we well, we don't know, and uh, uh, is that uh, what we've realized that uh, uh, the more we 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 having a lot of denominations, the more we are we are uh, tearing apart ourselves as a Christian Pentecostist. I mean, mm. so the more we have the denomination, the more we are going far from each other. So, and with these things. It's beyond denominations. It's beyond your name. Mm. The name that you have with your church mm. is about Christianity and who we are meeting together and share experience. Mm. You know? And yeah. Mm. Nice. So you heard it for yourself, so get in touch if you if you're interested. Now, um what what field of area? Of work, Do, are you are you are you involved in in what what career or what, what do you do in that you know in mm. that area of your life? Uh, that area of um, CLG or no any Just any general general yeah. yeah. Uh, <coughs> now we are we are talking general. Oh, uh, <laughs> well um, let uh, uh I work in hospital. Okay. Uh. I'm also a student. Um, um, yeah. Okay. Father, good wife. <laughs> All right. One now, my next question is um, uh, I like to ask this question because uh, I, I think it's relevant. Uh, how, do you, um, how do you practice your faith at your workplace? Do you face challenges, you know, um, you know, you work with people, colleagues, you know, that may not be practicing the same faith that yeah, you are practicing yeah. and things like that. There's, there is challenges that comes along. Is there any challenges? And uh, if there is, how do you stay focused? Focus, yeah. Well, uh, and... Well, this is a very, very, very difficult and very challenging uh, um, and path into this uh, Christianity things, as I said before, because um, there is uh, this belief that is growing, that is against, uh, which is uh, that is against Christianity values and all these things. There is more. Um, uh, freedom thing. I'm not trying to to blame people. People they have the different beliefs, but uh, when it comes bad to be free. Uh, I think freedom doesn't exclude. If it exclude the will of God, it becomes dangerous freedom. Well, that's how I see it. Okay. It's become very dangerous. And again, we cannot judge. The Bible says the God himself is the judge. So 
But uh, come back to your question. Yeah, um, I, the, uh, uh, the person I work with is, uh, it come to be that we have the, uh, the same faith. So it was not very um, difficult, uh, even I have a chance to talk about it, the, the ministry, and uh, um, she, I invited her one day, and she came to the church. Uh, nevertheless, I come to realize that Christianity is embedded or is linked with the traditions of the people. Okay, what do you mean? What I mean is this, um, the way, for example, uh, if you you are in, you are you grew up in the city, and uh, someone grew up into into the village, that there may be some differences in the way that uh, you embrace, and the more you have people with different culture, the receive diff, a little bit differently okay. the right, when it comes to practicing Christianity. Uh, for example, um, if the way Christianity is accepted to Africa may not be necessary, the same way it will be accepted in Europe. Mm -hmm. The same Christianity, but it may not be necessarily mm -hmm. because there is a culture and the culture gives us the definitions of what's surrounding us and uh, the same way in a, in a, in a, in, a, in a christianity if i have to talk i know uh, like there is a policy now in the workplace that you cannot bring your belief yes you have that burden of taking the gospel for the kingdom of god anywhere but there is a policy that you cannot bring your belief and that's the big challenge mm. the big challenge is the system that is there now which uh, discourage which encourage is personal beliefs mm. that we have to take it the way it is mm. so um, and that is where it's difficult I know there is a uh, um, uh, there is uh, one person at the work that I spoke, at, uh, spoke with him about church things. He was like, are you going to church seriously? And I said, yeah. I said, ah. He said, I would rather come to work. Mm. And uh, in that circumstance, it's not true. And I think it's a challenge that we will need. Uh, it, will always, it will be always there. But uh, we cannot um, give up. But also, we need to be very careful to don't be trapped into um, between the systems that are in place. And um, yeah, uh, I would say that is a little bit harder for gospel than how it used to be. And that's why, that's why uh, you see uh, why now uh, speaking about uh, CLG is, is, is like a platform where all these things can be brought in as a servant and they try to think, what can we do? Is there any way we can do these things? And I know if people can sit together, there will, there will always be a kind of solution that we may say, okay, all right, then if we cannot tell them about this, but we can also write somewhere in my house and then invite them. They will just read. You don't say anything, they will read. Mm. The same way like we had a challenge of COVID-19. Now, a lot of churches that come and realize, oh, the service can be done online actually, and there's more people falling. So, um, as I said, it's not something that we need to fear as a minister or we need to de despair, but we need to understand that there is a solution within the challenge. Yeah. But the only problem is, 
is when you sit together, the more you sit together, the most uh, a lot of ideas come together and you come with a solution. But when we are scattered, it will not get there. Yeah. So in saying that, I get it. How do you overcome those challenges at your workplace? For example, they say that uh, you can't bring your religion yep. to the workplace. The workplace, yeah. How do you overcome those challenges that you face at your workplace? Yourself. Personally, uh, uh, personally, uh, to to be realistic is very difficult. Mm -hmm. And um, but um, I know there was a time when uh, I taught somebody that as I uh, worked in a church, one of the staff, and he didn't understand. He was like, seriously, are you going to the church? It's something like. It's, it's, it's brought, it brings a kind of shame, especially when you are together. Mm. But as a Christian, I don't need, I don't, I didn't have to deny mm. who I am. Who you are. Amen. I cannot tell you follow me, but I will tell you that I'm a Christian mm. and I believe in the God, this God, the God who created mm. everything. By saying that, I'm not trying to tell them or oh, them to take my beliefs mm -hmm. but in one way they know that there is this god you've told them that there is a god who created the world wow. yeah so straight through to your identity identity you can preach through your identity Amen. Amen. all right um we've spoken a lot we we are now at the end of our session for today sure uh, uh do you have anything that you want to tell our viewers right now yeah um right now what i want to say to the viewer is um uh, the first thing is um we need to be reminded about our salvation our salvation is a precious thing that God has given to us. It's a gift. So we need to continue to maintain our faith in Jesus who is our Lord. We need to be reminded of what Jesus has accomplished on the cross so that you and I can be saved. Most importantly, we need to understand that in our journey of Christianity, that we should not backslide, no matter what happens, no matter what the challenge will face. Let we go forward. Let we take challenge as a place or a platform where solutions can be born and when we do so we are telling god that we have faith in him Amen. and if we can tell god that we have faith in him in you then god will always be with us no matter what we pass through we will overcome Amen. let we stand to our salvation wow Wow, 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 wow. Thank you so much for that last message. Sure. Thank you so, 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 so much. Uh, viewers, may God bless you so much. Thank you again for joining us. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to, to meet you again next week as we continue our episode of Let's Talk. Yeah, man. Let's talk.